Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, take us to these moments of rest and peace and let us draw close to your word. And we ask, O oh Lord, that in all of our seeking for rest and vacation and getaways, that there are certain things that we don't get away from that maybe we come back to. Help us in our times of peace to seek for your peace. That when we find our rest, that we rediscover those things which bring us rest each and every day. Lord, we pray for those who journey to visit family, to go about fun adventures and vacations with their families. Lord, we pray for the journey that helps families grow in faith, that helps us re-encounter who we are. And Lord, we pray for those we meet along the way, those who might experience great grace from us. So Lord, keep us patient. Lord, those who will teach us the important differences that are between us and Lord, how you help us to understand one another and grow in those times where we see the difference and where Lord, we are unappreciative or we take things for granted or we look for conveniences. Lord, awaken us to our own ability and responsibility and help us treasure what other people bring to our lives. That we at all times will be a sign of your grace and will show your love. This in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's reading from the Gospel of Mark in chapter 10 at verse 35. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came unto Jesus, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldst do for us whatever we shall desire. We just prayed. And in that, we ask God for help. In that prayer, we ask God to be present in whatever we're going through. And in that prayer, we are like James and John, asking for our desires to come true, for even our thankfulness to be heard. And Jesus asks for this. Really, James and John are responding to, to the request that Jesus has, has made and does make. That anything we ask from the Father in his name, ask through him, he's going to bring about. God's going to bring about. But Jesus goes on to be very careful about, do you know what you're really asking for? I can and will do these things for you, but I will check to see if you're asking for these things for your sake or for the appearance's sake. And so whatever you are praying for, whatever's in your heart that you're desiring from God, that for you will be one of those signs in life that God is present and, and there for you. And God does promise to be present for us and to show his love to us. But God more than anything, anyone, God knows what we need. And so as Jesus would go on to ask, what do you really want? Yes, of course, I will be there for you. But what do you really want? Do you know what you really need? And are you asking for the right thing? Because Jesus does love us. The Bible does tell us that. But how that love is shown is not just by answering our requests, but by helping us find, this, find the trueness of what we want and to seek a path in all we ask for and all we desire that draws us closer to God. God bless and keep you. Amen.